all my red tops are about to have a party in these pants and <laughs> Shira of Fashion Meets God. Today I am doing a haul video. I haven't done a haul video since like 2014, but I did a poll on Instagram and I asked if people still watch haul videos. I got 100% on this poll, so that's where we are today. If you love hauls, then stick around, and if you want to see what you can buy from the Philippines, even a small town like Calibo for $6 or less, then keep watching. I've always found it so fun to shop in the Philippines and not just because of the prices but because of the fines and you can buy stuff from you know a really nice air conditioned mall to a public market and it's just different and interesting find. Most of these I got from the first ever mall here in Calibo called Gaisano and I have been shopping here ever since I was like 14 and I always loved their women's department. I always look forward to shopping in Gaisano when I would visit Calibo and now I actually live here so weird. Right now we're gonna start off with the bottoms that I got and I had to get myself another pair of jeans because of the line of work I'm in right now which is construction and I was just in need of jeans that didn't have embroidered flowers on it and everything. They're practically like jeggings which I never really buy but they're just really stretchy and comfortable and that's what I needed and I think these were only 245 so they look like this. So just as I said I needed more bottoms that didn't have embroidery. I got a skirt that has embroidery on it. The distressed fray and fringe on oops, on the bottom here and this was around 225 I think. 225. So that's about four ish dollars. And it's got more distressed on the butt cheeks right here. I just went into a country accent. I don't know why. So another piece I got were these colotes. I think that's how you pronounce them. I love them because they are so tropical and they're, they have that garter. I love the colors, they're so bright. I know I can style this with a ton of different things. All my red tops are about to have a party in these pants. And guess how much these were, guys? 100 pesos, that's $2. So then as I was looking around, I was actually in a really casual getup, as in like, yoga pants or like leggings and an oversized t-shirt and like fake kids. So as I was looking through the racks, I found another pair of similar leggings. So they are nothing special, obviously. They're just black leggings. But then when you get to the bottom, they have little like pleated ruffles. You guys know how I am with clothing that has a little touch of like some uniqueness or a feminine touch. Even like a little lace detail here. Actually from here down it kind of looks like a garter, doesn't it? So the last bottoms that I got were these pants and you can already see these on fashionmeetsguide.com but they are like a wine red. They look more red in camera but in real life they're like a wine maroon red and I just thought <laughs> I was afraid that they would look kind of like scrubs but they're not bad they actually look like I could wear this to the office and you know pair them with a black blazer or something. On the bottoms we're gonna work down to the footwear. I was surprised when I got home and opened them because they are so cushiony. They actually have a whole cushion of the whole like sole of the feet. They're like clouds on my feet. So if you guys actually read my last blog on fashionmeetsgod.com, my last post, I posted about these shoes and how I actually get a feeling and experience and a vibe and kind of emotional from shoes. And so these are the shoes that I was talking about. Mm. I was looking for a shoe that I could wear every day and I found these and I think they're just so like a little prim and proper because they are not that tall at all. They have a cute little bow in the front. Can't wait to be like all the high school girls running around town in the dirty streets with their cute, pretty shoes. Honestly, you guys have to think I'm crazy. Read my blog post, 
so you get an idea of what I'm talking about and I don't sound like a crazy person. All right, so moving on to the tops. I have been feeling striped tops lately. This also you have seen on the blog already with the pants that I just showed you. And it's this top it has an asymmetrical neckline and another ruffle. Do you guys remember that last video I posted about personal style and I was wearing that lavender top that looked just like this? Apparently this part was supposed to stay up here, not across my my arm like this, but it's supposed to just, you know, sit on my actual shoulder. But I find it really comfortable and I just like the neckline and the fact that it was striped and it had a ruffle on it. So like I was saying, I am having a stripe moment. I saw this on the rack and I loved it. I tried it on and I liked it even more. And it's this top right here. And then for the sleeves, it's actually tiered. So it has three tiers. So it's really extra. And they're almost like a butterfly sleeves at the same time. Like they extend a lot. That's a lot of material. Alright, so another top that I got a while back actually, but just haven't shown on the blog or anything or even worn on the video, so I thought I would share it. This one and it's light blue, and then the print is actually gingham, so if you can look closely, that is gingham. And then it has some pleats at the bottom, and then it ties in the back, and it has some garter at the back too. I really like this top though because of this detail right here. It makes my waist look smaller because of the style. My aunt from Texas actually came to town, and when we were in Manila, we obviously saw, saw each other, and she gave me this blue romper. I don't wear rompers much, but I thought this was really cute. It's blue. It's like a it's a navy blue. It has a chiffon or ruffle sleeve detail here, and then it comes down to the front with some pleatings there, and then it even comes with its own braided belt. This looks really comfy, and I feel like I can get a lot of use out of this and then, you know, wear something over it like this. Like I could wear this over it. You know, with the dark blue going, yeah, yeah. And the last thing that was gifted to me was actually from my other aunt who lives in Manila. And it is this green dress by Maldita. I actually think that's a bad word. And it still has the price tag on it, but it has some dra draping on it. I actually have another dress by Maldita and it's red. I wore it when I was in California to a wedding and I love it because, um, they really know how to place these drapes. It's not exactly like this one. It has some, it's a bit more simple than this one, but it has um, some drapes on it as well to kind of hide your, your little pooch. So I really like how they design their dresses. So that is pretty much it. Again, all of those were about five to six dollars minus the last two, which were gifted for my Ants, obviously. Let me know if you liked this haul and if you want to see more. Or I, I even thought of doing a video where I would take you along a shopping trip and kind of show you how it is and what it's like to shop in the Philippines, specifically in Calibo, because that's where I am. Let me know if you want to see a video like that. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys again for watching. And I appreciate you guys even making it to this point as always. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.